some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we follow Alex from Collaborative Observations as he attempts to audit a police station in Melbourne, Australia. Only it doesn't go his way and he gets arrested for the fourth time in three months. So let's sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Hello, oh, mate. Uh, can I do a Freedom of Information Act request here? Uh, no, you don't just do me here. You do online. Online? Yeah, correct. At the police stop it, Gov? Or... Uh... So you guys, are you all the police officers of Victoria on a website with your pictures and your names and your job titles? No. So how would I get, like, say, all the police officers that work at this station, their name, titles and... Um, what's the reason you need them? I just, I need it for my personal reason, yeah. Yes, of course, personal reasons. Let me guess, you want to file grievances against the officers who arrested you on the three other occasions where you were acting like a complete moron. Am I correct? Oh, okay. Are you filming at the moment? I am. Yeah, yeah. can you read this policy? Here, condition of entry is you don't feel... Okay. Was the past that door? I'm not going past that door. No, but the condition of entry into the police station, including here. So I'm not going to engage with you unless you're willing to uh, comply. Can you, you can never read this if you'd like. Yeah, I've seen those signs before. But, yeah, okay, so yeah, I'm not going to engage with you. So you're going to refuse me service? Um, mate, you're, just not, got, you're not complying with condition of entry. I've just got a simple question, okay, mate. That's fine. There's no one in here. You're going to refuse service? Can I get your name? No, you can't. Can I get your name? Then I want to make a complaint about you. Can I get your name? Can I, can I just get your name and badge number so I can make a complaint, so, please? Um, yeah, I've just had a quick chat for my sergeant. So because you're not complying with the condition of entry, I'm happy to serve you and take your inquiry, but just not while you're filming. Not while I'm filming. Yeah, correct. Even though it was just us two in here, you yeah, guys wear body well, cams. It's not, my, it's, not, it's not what I want. Okay, it's literally written here, the condition of entry. And that's, no, that's, um, not, that's, that's not a law. Policy. That's yeah, not okay, a law. Yeah, okay, yeah, but that's fine. Like, by law, I don't have to talk to you. You have to provide me service. Yeah, but like I said, I'm happy to, happy to only if you abide by the condition of entry. Do you understand? No, that's not a law. No, I, but do you understand? The law says I can record in public. I'm trying to record my yeah, government. That's, I that's need... not what's condition on the condition of entry. Right, that's okay, a policy. So I'm not, I'm going to that's a here. policy. Okay, can I get your name and badge can number? Can I get your name and badge number? And I'll leave. Oh, you gotta love this police officer. He held his ground against the frauditor, and the frauditor ended up getting denied. But that is what I have come to expect out of the Australian police officers. They do not mess around with these idiots. They don't mess around with sovereign citizens. They don't mess around with frauditors. They don't stand around talking about their feelings with the frauditors like the American officers do. In the uh, United States, this would have been a 30-minute conversation before the police officer walked away or arrested him or anything like that. But here, it's just like... These idiots don't get their way. Can I get your name and badge number and I'll leave? Hello? That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Every time I see a frauditor kick the tires like that to act like they're checking them, it just makes me cringe. Because anybody who's actually worked with tires, they don't check them like that. They've got tools and they've got procedures they go through. You just don't kick them and call it a day. It's a bit soft. Do not touch the police car. Sorry? Do not touch them. I'm allowed to touch them, mate. The public property, mate. It's not public property. It's public property, it's mate. Car. It's public property, okay? It's public property. I'm, I'm doing a pressure test. 
Well, now you are actually committing a crime at this point. You are tampering with a vehicle that is not yours, which is actually a crime in Australia, and you can be sentenced to 14 days in jail for it. It's amazing. You try to use this American script in Australia, but yet it's not compatible considering you've got different laws that are not exactly compatible with it. You really didn't think this thing through, did you? Can you get can I get Karen's badge number there? Which he refused he refused to give me the badge number. No. I'm gonna check the cars, mate. Check them all. This one's a bit flat. Yes, I have. Um, you find down there? No, it's, it's a public. That's not a law. It that's is a law. law. It's a, that's a law. Yeah, and tampering with a motor vehicle is. And you saw you I, was, I wasn't kicking them. I was Until doing, you get your identification. I was doing a pressure test on the tires. I'm um, allowed to touch. I'm allowed to touch the car. Well, tires. you have this argument in the police station. Come outside, please. I'm not going anywhere, mate. I got to get that constable's badge number. He refused to give me his badge yes, number. Come. Don't touch me, mate. Okay. I'm not tampering. You got no evidence. I was, I was doing a pressure test like a mechanic, mate. So you yeah, you were doing a pressure test like a mechanic. Uh, no, you weren't. A mechanic would actually use a tire pressure gauge to check the air pressure, you moron. You were touching the police car. I'm allowed to touch the public property. Can it you stand the two property, meters, no. mate? Wait, th whoa! At the moment, you're under arrest for tampering with your police car. What evidence have you got? Do you understand that? Hold still. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Where's your identification? Well, now, congratulations on your fourth arrest in three months. I can't wait to see your fifth arrest. I want to see what kind of stupidity you could come up with to get arrested. I mean, using the American script in a foreign nation is bad enough, but let's see how much further you can take it the next time. Just keep upping the ante, you know. Just make it even dumber next time, okay? At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.